Hello. Would you like to learn how to output a message to Slack if your Postman flows has failed or something has happened? Uh, we can do that really easily. There's a little bit of setup involved, but it's quite straightforward. Um, what you need to do, I'll show you it briefly here from a high level so you can, uh, you can cut to the chase if you need to. Here are the steps you need to run through to do the setup. You need to add a send request block to the end of your flow, uh, referring to a post message which gives the details of the incoming Slack uh, webhook. Um, refer to the Slack API environment and add in a variable message. So let's see that working and then we'll go into how we set that up. So that has failed as we expected it to. And we can see here in our Slack channel, create booking failed has been entered there. I will send that again. And then you can see that appears. So that's all good. Um, in order to get this to work, you need to generate a webhook token and you do that through going to um, slack, uh, sorry, https api.slack.com forward slash apps. And as long as you're the administrator of a particular Slack workspace, you can go ahead and follow these instructions here to generate the webhook. Once you've uh, generated the curl request for your webhook and activated the webhooks in Slack, you can go ahead and input that. I've generated some dynamic variables here for the um, webhook token and also a dynamic variable for the message. And that's important because that means when it comes into flows, you can then just generate whatever message you like to post out. So you can reuse that. Um, I've also generated a Slack API environment, which obviously has the details of my token and the standard message there. So once you've done that, you can send that message and then save the example, which is always good practice for flows. And that should allow you to then refer to that message. So the great thing about flows is that even though I am testing on the RESTful Booker platform, my send request at the end can be sent from to the Slack API. So it's a completely different API to the one that I'm testing with, but that doesn't matter. It's a completely different environment to the one that I'm using for these, uh, these send point, but that doesn't matter. It can all go through the same flow and all work just as you expect it to. Okay, I hope that has helped you. Yeah, till next time. Thanks very much. Bye.